on there. This is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith Service, and today we're going to be talking about how to organize your toolbox. Now, I've been a huge fan of the rigid toolbox here, um, but as you can see, we're coming in at a very healthy 53.8 pounds, so you're looking at about 54 pounds of stuff in here. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and consolidate most of that into an easier to use, quicker to access, easier to maneuver backpack. Now they do sell a system that has the rolling wheels and I have all that with this. It's just we're caught right in the middle where this weighs too much to just kind of carry around for a long distance. Um, I mean you put it on one arm and you know you're, you're expelling all that weight one way or the other or you carry it in front of you. It's just becoming a bit obnoxious. Um, so what we're gonna do is shrink it down <coughs> To, we'll still utilize the toolbox and we'll carry drills and backups and spare parts in there uh, but for day-to-day -day use I'm gonna try and put everything in this bag that I'm gonna need because less trips to the van means more money for you and less time spent on the job site um, I know that for an absolute fact I've been um, trying to figure out the perfect combination of things to to have and to carry because if I go in prepared, I show up once, I do the job and then I leave and I don't go back and forth to the van, um, you know, you're, you're smoking the competition. Um, you know, they're doing three calls a day where you can do six or eight. Um, and that's what I'll usually do in a day is, you know, between six or eight different calls because we can show up, get the job done, have the tools we need at hand, get paid and get out of there. Um, <clears throat> so I never even thought of this until I saw Milwaukee have a bag at the at the store um, but there's all kinds of pockets and all kinds of stuff in here um, I'm gonna go through the toolbox because that's gonna be probably pretty boring for you to watch um, but there's another compartment back here uh, and then I'll separate things and sort them into here and uh, we'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it turns out we'll weigh it um, and once again, we're not throwing away the rigid toolbox. That's a great toolbox. It's waterproof. It's tough. It's durable. It's awesome. It's just going to hold backup parts. It's just awkward to walk around with. Even with the rolling cart, the rolling cart is too much. I have separate stuff in there uh, for, for different um, things that we, we do. Um, but, you know, when you encounter obstacles like stairs, snow, ice, mud, gravel, uh, that rolly wheel cart... Um, is good for smooth ground, but it doesn't do good over that. So if I can take this stuff, throw it on my back, and then get to the job site and get what I need done, um, you know, and we're not gonna be putting drills in there either right away. Uh, we'll have the drills in the main box, and then that way I know what I need. I'll grab the bag, and then I can carry the drill in my hand, making the bag much lighter. So stay tuned and check it out. What's going on, this is Wayne with Tri-County Locksmith, and today we're gonna be continuing our journey to check out this backpack. So we've lowered our toolbox down to what we put in this backpack and it's about 28 pounds. Um, so we've almost cut it in half pretty much. We are about 54 before. Uh, so it's much lighter, much easier to carry around, much easier to do anything with. And I'll just go through um, how I've got mine set up and what I've got in here to do. So one of the most commonly used tools is going to be your 18 volt drill like this. It just goes right in there like so. Um, you can also stuff an impact in there, uh, but you're not always going to need both. You're not always going to need one or the other. Um, but you can put them both in there, at least for travel and for carry. Uh, so those are nice that you don't have to have them in there all the time. That's what freed up a lot of weight and a lot of room to do this. So the next thing we'll go over is schlag removal tool a latch just miscellaneous bits mostly phillips head bits and uh, bits for hole saws because they break quite often uh, that's going to be the first thing that we're going to be using here just quarter inch bits and stuff that you're going to grab for all the time in that outer pouch <clears throat> in the inner pouch is where we really start coming alive um, in here Got some more bits, you can never have enough of those. Uh, chuck key, uh, chisel. It's easy to grab stuff, it's just in that nice flap right there so it keeps everything locked down real nice. Um, and then we start getting into the real 
nitty gritty. We got one more flap here. Um, <clears throat> right angle tool. Uh, these always come in handy whenever you need them. You don't have one anywhere near. Um, so I always keep one because in case you're trying to tighten a bolt in a drawer or a cabinet or something, uh, this is going to save your butt and it's going to save you a trip back to the van. It's nice, it's easy, it's light, it just tosses right in here and it connects with either your impact or your regular drill. Um, let's see here. Just some more miscellaneous drill bits that you may need. Uh, this is another um, <clears throat> drill bit. Car this is the carbide drill bit for the spider system. Uh, big drill bit in case you're going to drill something big out. Uh, punch, carbide bits, all that fun stuff is in here. <clears throat> Close that up. Uh, something new that I'm adding to my arsenal of things to do is the... <clears throat> multi-tool. Um, we'll be doing a review on this soon too. So uh, We've got some blades and whatnot for it in here. <clears throat> some more blades uh, for doing some fine cutout work, cabinet work, stuff like that. Uh, they're nice and flat so they lay in there really nice and easy. Um, let's see here. Let's go over this while we're doing this too. Uh, let's see. Flap storage, five times, big zippers, uh, this doesn't tell us a whole lot. It just says that it's, you know, heavy duty and lasts longer. Uh, some of the features that are really good is this is a ballistic material. It's actually rip resistant. Um, it's got a load bearing harness and it's got like a big flat rubber bottom. So if you set this on the ground in snow or water, it's not going to get your backpack wet. It's actually just going to, it, it'd be like setting it in the Tupperware or something. Um, so that is a nice feature, and it holds the bottom open so you can reach down in there and grab all your stuff. Uh, continuing on, we've got our spider hole saw. That's my favorite hole saw. <clears throat> Always like that one for wood installations. Carbide tipped, uh, ejects the plug very nicely, <clears throat> just like so. And then you saw that we do have a masonry bit to attach that to, so if you need concrete installation, it will do it. Um, Let's see, we got our wider range of Bosch bits, the Bosch paddle bits, the most popular of course being the one inch bit. Uh, that's my favorite bit again for wood, for installation. Um, and this is what we're trying out new too. Uh, the new Diablo carbide tipped hole saw system. Carbide tipped so it will do wood and it will do metal, it will do hardened steel, it will do stainless steel. Uh, taking a page out of the spider book and um, having an injectable hole saw system and you could replace this with a carbide tipped blade as well. So this is going to cut just about anything and when, any, when these get welded together you throw the whole bit out, you grab a new one and you put it on there. No more fighting trying to un, undo the arbor from the hole saw to allow it to, do your, to put on your new hole saw. It's just a one click system. <clears throat> So, this is working out extremely well for me. Put that back. This is my spare blade, ready to go. A <clears throat> uh, couple more hole saws here. So this is going to be a carbide hole saw too. Um, Diablo does not make the uh, does not make their carbide hole saw in two and an eight. They they do two inch and two and a half, but they do not do the two and an eighth. Two and an eighth bit is the one required for uh, deadbolt and lock hardware installation. Uh, but again, I was able to integrate the Linux carbide bit into the Diablo system with the adapter that comes with your Diablo bits. So it's still one click. Once this gets used up, broken, whatever, and fused together, toss it, grab a new adapter, grab a new hole saw, and boom, there you go, you're ready to drill again. Um, <clears throat> we do have just a regular bimetal blade too, just in case one of these fails or something happens, uh, we do have that one there. But again, you can see <clears throat> the massive difference in teeth and how much faster this is gonna cut over this. Even the, even the carbide one from Lennox uh, is gonna cut a lot faster than that bimetal blade. So put that back in there in there and you'll notice that I have all these set up with arbors 
because if you break a drill bit or you know something happens, um, you're just going to want to make sure that you have uh, backups. You know, it, it, it is customized to this product and this brand. So you're going to want to make sure that you have backups and backups and backups because the last thing you want to do when you're trying to save time is have to run to the store. Uh, and they may be closed at the time that you need your parts. Um, so what else do we have here? Champion inch and a half step bit. Uh, there you go. Awesome. Good quality. I use this thing all the time. Works great for expanding holes uh, that are already drilled. Um, and it just gives you a really quick uh, wide array. This is like having a whole set of drill bits in one box. Uh, a couple other things. These are the Diablo adapters. You can see there's one for your smaller bits and there's one for your bigger bits. It uh, doesn't feel bad to throw these away with the with the whole hole saw. You know, they're cheap, they're easy. You get two of these just like that. One big one, one small one. Every time you buy one of the hole saw blades, um, so you're always going to be able to adapt your existing blades to the new system. So we just have a bunch of these in case we need to go buy something from the hardware store and it's not this particular system. It'll slide right on here and you're ready to go. Mm. We do have a set of Walter bits, cobalt. Bits. Ooh, right there. Uh, really good quality. Great to have all sizes on hand. Um, need them for pilot drilling, stuff like that. <clears throat> drilling a pilot hole. Uh, that's pretty much it. We do have one really long extension bit here, just in case we run into anything where we need to really reach out there and, and grab something. Um, <clears throat> fold all this up. And you could see that we could definitely fit more in here. You could put screwdrivers or whatever you want in here. Uh, I have a separate bag for that that I just carry no matter what. Um, but you could put more stuff in here, screwdrivers, anything you wanted, wrenches, whatever you need. <clears throat> right in there. And then in here, we've got cutting discs. <clears throat> it's going to keep them nice and flat, keep them from breaking right up against the back there. Tons of cutting discs. We use a 18 volt grinder uh, quite often, so there's tons of backup discs in here. Good old fashioned crescent wrench. <clears throat> Milwaukee vice grips uh, with torque lock. These are awesome. These are really, really useful tool. Um, and then a hammer. And that's about it. Um, and if we can't get it done with that, then it's going to be something super specialty and we'll have to go back to the van. But 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, this is going to take care of everything that I'm going to need. Um, and I mean, I can tell you, I can vouch for it. If I can run you know, six, eight, ten calls a day, and the competition's only running, you know, three, four, five calls a day. Uh, it, it's because I can get in, get out, do my job, and move on to the next one and collect that next service call and collect that next bill. So we keep the customers happy. Everything's quick, slick, easy, fast, in and out, one trip. Um, you can even throw invoices in here or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's just an awesome system. So for more information, check out the website below and consider your switch into a backpack instead of your old school toolbox. Um, you know, once again, that's the best toolbox on the market and I love it and I've used the crap out of it. Um, but it's big, it's bulky, and it doesn't do stairs very well. And it doesn't do snow and it doesn't do ice and it doesn't do mud. It doesn't do, you know, when you're trying to roll that cart around, <clears throat> those little wheels just get jammed up with all that stuff. So when you can throw this on your back, you can do stairs, elevator, anything you need. You set it down. You don't have to worry about it getting wet or anything on the bottom. And all your tools are right at your access. You pick it back up. You throw it in the van. Boom, to the next call. Make that money. So for more information, check out the website below. Thanks for watching. Wayne's Lock Shop. We strive to be the leading resource in tips, tricks, and educational videos for locksmiths. Videos are added every week on topics ranging from re-keying high security locks 
to marketing your locksmith business and everything in between, safe openings, car openings, installation tool reviews, and bypass methods are all plentiful on this secure website built by and for locksmiths. If you are a locksmith and want an inexpensive resource that will prove invaluable to you and your business, then Wayne's Lock Shop is the place for you. Please sign up today at waynesLockshop.com. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this um, you know that's the best way you can help interact leave a comment i will get back with you if i can and try and help you answer your questions but the more you interact and post this to facebook twitter google plus and spread this through the social media uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.